So, you are? My name is Brett Lemmick, aka Brett the Intern on YouTube. Okay, so how did you get your start on YouTube? Uh, I started YouTube, uh, must have been six years ago, seven years ago, um, back when I didn't have TV for a summer, so I started making internet videos and sort of got in the community. You know, I was a big fan of Shay Carl, Dave Bays, Lisa Belva, and All uh, big people. Yeah, I was watching them on Blog TV, I was a big fan. And, TV? Uh, yeah, it's a live webcam yeah, show, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, I just uh, started to watch them and became one of them. Um, when did you start working for, for Maker? I've been with Maker Studios for about, uh, I want to say, two and a half years or so. Uh, kind of back when I was a little bit smaller, and I've uh, been happy ever since. Um, what type of videos do you make? Just, just to tell uh, I make sketch videos, uh, lately vlog videos, but uh, I haven't really been focusing a lot on my channel lately. I've been producing for uh, everything that's Shay Tart related, Shay Carl, Shay Loss, iPhone Tart, the podcast where you can sleep. Beer, Hush with the Bear, helping out with Gozell, so a bunch of channels. Yeah. yeah. Um, what is your outlook on how big YouTube will get in the next few years? Oh, YouTube's only grown. I mean, uh, there's a time when people were wondering, like, is the bubble gonna burst? You know, is it, is it gonna be an ending? But no, it's, it's only getting bigger. Like, Maker Studios just announced as of like a half hour ago, Snoop Dogg has joined. And we've got many, many more exciting people. So TV and internet, people were talking about it merging. It's finally actually happening. So okay. it's, it's cool to be a part of that. Um, what is uh, Maker's, uh, Maker Studios is, um, like influence on YouTube itself? Uh, Maker is making uh, production very organized. And if you have an idea, you, if you can dream it, you can do it. And uh, Maker just assists with that. So, like everything back in the days of YouTube, when it first started, was a little bit more raw. And now it's turning uh, all high quality, both in content ideas and also quality of video. So, uh, it's just cool. If you want to do a video, you can decide what video you want to do it with and who. You know, collaboration is game. Yeah. Um, what is your insight on. Um the influence of like Shea Carl and Dave Days and all the really big people on the like little kid, L yeah. uh, the little kid, the babies of YouTube. Uh, I think big YouTubers like uh, CTFXC, you know, I think they should serve as inspirations to uh, you know other uh, people, content creators. So, uh, what, what what do you say? Uh, what is if there is one thing that you can tell an audience of YouTubers that have just either gotten started like two days ago, two years ago, and just don't have an audience, or, or getting slowly growing, what, what would be your insight? Uh, new upcoming content creators, whether you've been in for a day or for a year, trial and error. You know, if you have error, like if, just keep trying. You know, um, if you don't make it right away, don't get discouraged. It's it's really all about trying. And uh, eventually, you'll find your your niche market. Yeah. You'll find it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, would you say that if something is not working for you now, try try something else and then go back to it, or just scratch the entire try idea? New. If it's not working, try something new. Like uh, just at Maker Studios, I started off doing a bit more uh, talent-related things, and for me, you know, I, I wasn't uh, totally that wasn't right for me at the moment. So I started producing. I started doing other things. So. Uh, yeah, I'd say just keep trying, and if it's not working, try something else. Okay. Uh, what is your influence on what goes on to Shay's channel? Um, so my influence on Shay's yeah, channel? Yeah, Shay's and Clet's and yeah, yeah. Casey's and... You know, so, all, um, Shay pretty much you know has control over everything. You know, I'm, uh, just, I'm just there to help. Uh, so if he wants, hey, I want a bunch of jump off of a bridge. So my job is to find, where is that bridge? Is this safe? Um, how much is it? Is it in the budget? Um, but sometimes I also brainstorm. So like uh, we've got upcoming videos that are a lot of fun, which you know, uh, you as, can't as producer, I, mean, I can't share yet. But um, I just thought of them, and I, I surprised Shay. He found out what the video was when we press record. So there are fun sort of uh, things that I have planned that Shay may have no idea. So it's kind of new. Uh, we're trying it out. You know, again, trial and error. See what people like. You know? Okay. Is um has the uh. Has YouTube and like making videos and everything like that affected how you are as a person, um, or does it just it didn't matter you same before and now? Uh, making YouTube videos. Uh, uh, YouTube.
YouTube and making YouTube videos. It's really uh, made me come out of my shell, really. Uh, learning how to vlog and learning how to talk to others. You can do it, uh, you know, in your room. Yes, I suggest interacting with others in person, but uh, just getting your voice and trying things out. I, I've been all sorts of people on YouTube. If you look at all my channel, all my videos, I private a lot. But uh, you'll see like a crazy version of me, a little shy version of me, me swearing a whole lot. And now I'm just kind of me. You know? Now I'm family friendly. I don't need to prove myself to anyone. So it took years, but I got to sort of shape who I am. And that's what I like about YouTube. It gave me that uh, outlet to do that. Okay. Um, so what, do you remember the day that you started YouTube? Uh, yeah, it was, it was the summer I was interning for the Jerry Springer show, and uh, yeah, that was before I interned at Conan. I came out to LA to intern at the uh, intern show. Yeah, really? I didn't write the intern. Yeah, I've interned pretty much everywhere. Uh, so in Chicago, I was interning for the Jerry Springer show, and I remember the first day I just started getting footage behind behind the scenes. So yeah, so you got footage there, and then well, when exactly did you realize that? Oh my God, people are watching this. Uh, pretty much when I, uh, I remember getting my first video that had like 200 views, and I was like, that's crazy, like imagine this room, like my, I was looking at my bedroom, 200 people in here watching me, like that was a lot, like, like it was crazy, 200 people are looking at me, and I just remember seeing that number, I was so excited, now you know, people are getting, you know, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, you know, and then, you know, I did a video at the station, got 4 million, and it's like, I can't even comprehend it, like I was excited by 200, so you keep like, sort of, Raising the bar for yourself, trying to yeah. beat what you've done prior to that. What was your reaction when you got the first your first comment? First comment, I was excited. I knew it was a stranger, and they liked me. So it's just like instant approval. And hate came too, but uh, you, know, you just sort of deal with it, and uh, you learn you learn to live with it. But yeah. Okay. What is your advice um, for like? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna yeah, head over just a second. You what, what is your advice for like somebody that has started, got so much hate and stuff? What, what is your advice? You what? have to ignore the haters. I mean, don't Just let ignore. haters affect you. Uh, you know, there are bullies out there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so this has been... Yeah, uh, this has been Brett the Intern. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, keep watching.